now on is the starting point and we will absolutely focus on our strengths and, and the qualities that we absolutely have and we will build a team that nobody wants to play against. This is the, this is the, this is the challenge. And, uh <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to the channel and thank you for watching. It's your brother Oggs from the US. Please don't forget to subscribe, like the video, share, comment down below. One click, one sub and you are all set. Thank you so much for helping the channel. You guys are absolutely legend. What are we going to discuss in this channel? A lot and so many people are out of the job this morning you know what i mean we have so many jobless <laughs> football players ex-players and all that okay let me just say my good wishes to peter check because today is july the first and peter check is officially out of the club after so many years of loyal services at chelsea football club Piracek officially is out. Good luck. We don't know what he's going to do. Um, uh, I don't think he's going to be out, out of the job for a long time. Probably take a break with the family, a sabbatical, and come back because I know many clubs are going to need his service. And uh, yeah, man, it, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's very, very sad for me to even think that we're not going to see Piracek anymore but it is what it is time goes on and um we're gonna we're gonna continue chelsea will remain there forever and people come and go so we're still waiting you know monitoring waiting <laughs> frozen as you can say you know still uh, a lot of issues and you ask yourself why always chelsea you know why always chelsea Usman Dembele, by the way, he's uh, jobless also because he didn't renew his contract with Barcelona. So he's a free agent. And uh, free agent doesn't mean free. If you're going to sign for a team, it just means that you're not going to give any fee to the club that he's coming from because he doesn't have a, um, a club. But sometimes you pay even more money by just signing a free agent because of commissions the, and uh, the agent fee and all the sign-on fee. So people confuse when they say, oh, we got him for free. No, we didn't get him for free. We just didn't pay the, the money to the club because he doesn't have a club. So uh, it's going to be very interesting to see what Chelsea are going to decide because we have to start making some signings. Okay, we can't wait for one player forever. If Rafinha for some reason doesn't want to come to Chelsea Football Club and Usman Dembele is a, a free agent, probably we should go for him. Or oh, otherwise, we might miss out on both of them. Okay, you're waiting for Rafinha and somehow Barcelona find money somehow, somewhere. And then, and then uh, Dembele signed for another team. Rafinha signed for Barcelona and Chelsea are in the middle. Like we, we don't know where to go anymore because everybody is gone. So we have to avoid the, the, the issue that uh, Real Madrid had with Mbappe. They waited for him for two years and then they, they you know, missed out on Haaland and Mbappe at the same time. So, man, we have so many options there. We have to, to start moving and we, we can't always wait the last minute because this is going to cost us uh, at the end. Let me know in the comment down below if we should um, wait or we should just go. And as you can tell, it's a, it's a complicated one. Okay, Chelsea offered Lille 60 million 
a very good contract, better contract for Rafinha. Uh, Arsenal offered like 50 million and uh, less juicy contract than Chelsea Football Club. Barcelona are offering 25 million plus 10 kilos of rice. And, <laughs> and still Rafinha waiting for uh, Barcelona. So that tells you that his love for Barcelona is real. And, um, you know, we, I, I agree with certain people who say that um, we, we have to avoid the Lukaku case, even though I believe that it's not going to be the Lukaku when we forced him and then he didn't even play a good football, a Chelsea football club. This time, I think Rafinha just want to, you know, accomplish um, or make his dreams come true to play for Barcelona but at the end if he plays for another team it's not that he's gonna he's gonna just uh, refuse to play football just because the transfer to Barcelona didn't work out I don't think it's gonna be that case but man it, it, it's time for us to start um, to start uh, moving and making some progress all right so by the way uh this is my page here the green turf on social media i always follow people back so let's follow each other no egos here let's just grow the community anyways what else the big news that came out, came this morning is like neymar jr okay official contact between neymar people and chelsea people <laughs> Uh, been reported by many sources. I am not a source. I just read and make my judgment. Okay, so if you 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 go ESPN today, uh, say that uh, Neymar Junior to Chelsea Football Club is getting momentum. Like representative of Neymar been in touch with Chelsea Football Club. So let's keep our eye on this one. Um, and. Uh, I don't know let me know in the comment down below sentiment away okay just tell me the truth should we really go for Neymar because he's gonna cost a crazy amount of money right and um, wow look at this ESPN say that contact has been made you know like ESPN is a big big deal here in the US um, Todd Bowley want to make a big statement this summer so big statement could mean neymar jr i'm telling you if we got neymar uh in the commercial side you know like international brand of chelsea football club is gonna be through the roof it's like it's gonna explode uh overnight you know we we're gonna get more fans from brazil and around the world we're gonna sell even more but on the pitch still questionable because of his uh injury record and he's disciplined you know he likes to party he's acting more like a superstar at the moment instead of a football player and all that but probably he's gonna behave and say you know what i only have few years to go let me just give everything and go back to the neymar of uh, of years ago but i'm gonna leave this one on you guys what do you think about this Neymar Jr. getting some momentum really in the community? You know, let's be honest here. Getting some momentum. We saw uh, Thiago Silva actually came a few days ago and say, uh, you know, Neymar, listen, you have to come to Chelsea. I beg, please come to Chelsea. So uh, let's just wait and see this one, what is going to happen. But the end of the day, I don't make decisions. Listen, even if I don't approve anybody, it's not going to change anything at the end. The end of the day, it's up to Chelsea Football Club to make the decision. And if you sign for my team, listen, you become my boy. I'm going to support you. That's the way it's supposed to be. So, yeah. Yeah, so Neymar no longer feel comfortable at PSG, blah, 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 blah. And uh, let's just keep our eye open on this one. Let's just move very quick. Okay, so what else? So, yeah, Neymar is trending in the Chelsea community. 
What happening with Raheem Sterling? Raheem remain optimistic of completing his dream move to the almighty blues uh, of London. And let's wait and see what's going to happen. Official Chelsea shirt. I think we already talked about it. I don't like the color. And it's kind of ugly for me. I just... And the three logo still there. So it's not really my cup of tea. And I am going to save money. I'm going to just buy uh, the training kit. Who, you know, they got some very good training kit. That's it. No, no, no shirt until uh, Naki fix up. They are, they are crap. And also the three logo is gone. I have nothing to do with them. And that's it. Uh, Usman Dembele, we talked about him. He's a free agent. Uh, and uh, yeah, there is nothing really to discuss about him. Delete. Still waiting for Delete. Fresh talks being taken place between Chelsea uh, and uh, Juventus. But nothing so far, my friend. We're still waiting. We're still waiting. So, waiting FC. The waiting game. Be patient. Hopefully we can get uh, some good news uh, very soon. But yeah, let's wait and see.